I said the four seven seventh division. The Lord was with me all the way across Germany. When I went over, a company that I went with, when we came back, it was four that went over on that boat. They wasn't all killed, they were injured. Some of them came back and some of them didn't. The worst thing that I ever had in my life was we fought the Germans hand to hand. They was on one side of the hill and we was on the other. They ran out of ammunition and they came over with fixed bayonets to kill what they could and they killed several. They had us out number probably three to one, but when they were out of ammunition, we bored them down, just like killing flies. <clears throat> After it was all over, they, got, they killed a bunch of the bare GIs, and after it was all, all over, it was Germans and GIs laying on the ground dead and wounded real bad. And uh, they got the ones up that was able to go to the hospital and carry them to the hospital. And I was one of the lucky ones. I, I was a BAR man. A BAR man don't care about that. So there I was fighting with the BAR with no bayonet like the rest of the GIs had. So I made use of the butt of that BAR and used that. And after it was all over, they were laying on the ground, GIs, Germans. We went on for some time and I met the, we were supposed to meet the Germans and get the, had, had a signal from the, German, from the GIs that we were to get their signal. They were to shoot off three blasts. The Germans got a hold of their signal and shot off three blasts and came in and we thought we were beating the Germans. They almost wiped us out. <coughs> After that, I came back and I wondered why I was so lucky all the way through, if you call it luck. The Lord was with me all the way through Germany. Then I wondered why I was so lucky. After I came home, I found out why. When I was over there, I was a sinner. The Lord gave me a chance to come back home and do what I was supposed to do, become a Christian. I thank you for it every day. Yes, before I went to the war, we used to all go to the different churches at Lagardo when they was having their revivals. I went one night and I was under conviction so bad, I thought I was going to the altar. When I got out to the center of the aisle, instead of going to the altar, I went to the front door. And the Lord didn't deal with me no more for some time. And that's why well, I believe that I'm here today. The guy that he gave me another chance. 
was older than the rest of us, and we called him Pappy. He was a short, sawed-off guy, and he was supposed to help me carry the ammunition. Well, he couldn't keep up with me, so he carried the rations, and I carried all the ammunition. We got so far down the line, and he got hit, and I was trying to drag him back. He said, they've done got me. He says, get out of here before they get you. And he asked me to write his mother and tell her about it. That was the hardest letter that I ever tried to write. And he was the most wonderful GI I ever knew. We were sitting in a foxhole all night and one was asleep two hours and one was on guard two hours. When he was on guard, I didn't have to worry about him going to sleep. And he's woke me up lots of nights praying. And I wondered lots of times why the Lord took him instead of me. And after I got back home and become a Christian, I found out why. Do you remember what his name was? Do you remember what his name was? No, I don't remember his name. They called him Pappy. And that's been 60 some years ago, so I can't call his name. What, what, what year did you, did you enlist or? Uh, or you, 42. You, you were drafted? When we left Lebanon to go into service, it was four of us. And all of us came back. There was Charlie Shipper, Red Beard, Raymond. What was his name? He used to run the... It was Ayrton. The fire place in, in Lebanon? You used to run the gauge, gauge of wheels. Well, I can't think of Raymond last name, but we all came back. <clears throat> And I'm pretty sure they all did now, except me. Charlie Shipper died with a cancer. Howard Acton was the other guy's name. And I think they all did. I was in four major battles. That hand-to-hand -hand battle with the Germans was one of them. And I have a, well, I don't know what you call it, where I was in four major battles. Uh, I went all the way across Germany and met the Russians in Czechoslovakia. And the Russians got, the Germans got the signs that signals that the <clears throat> we were supposed to get. They got the signals and we thought we were meeting meeting the Russians and the Germans came in and almost wiped us out before we knew who was 